It is quarter to eight now. Lenten season has arrived for Christians all over the globe. This, of course, being Ash Wednesday. Ash is traditionally placed on the foreheads of worshipers. And 12 News reporter Kayla Fish, she's joining us in East Providence this morning outside of a church that's once again making it convenient for those who can't attend an Ash Wednesday service today. Hey, good morning, guys. That's right. We're live at Newman Congregational Church here in East Providence, where it's been pretty busy this morning. That's because from now until 9 o'clock a.m., people can receive ashes by simply driving through the church's parking lot. Now, this has been happening since 630 this morning, and we've seen a pretty steady stream of cars come through with people receiving ashes and a blessing this morning. Now the church has been offering this drive through ashes for a few years now. They stopped last year because of the pandemic, but have resumed this year with ordained clergy on hand to distribute ashes and give blessings. In Providence, Bishop Thomas Tobin will be presiding over mass and distributing ashes at the Cathedral of Saints Peter and Paul. That's just after noon today. A number of other local churches are also holding in person services to mark the beginning of Lent a time of repentance and reflection. This year, it also signifies another step towards a return to normalcy or what's familiar after the pandemic upended many traditional Ash Wednesday services last year. We're bringing it back. We've got some adjustments this year. Obviously, I'll be masked as I'm greeting each of the folks driving up. Um, we've got uh, hand sanitizer and, and Clorox wipes and all of those things for protocols, uh, trying to make it as safe as possible so that we can, again, provide this to the community as that, that kickstart to the season. Now again, as we come back live here, this uh, drive through ashes uh, service here is happening until nine o'clock this morning. Also at Newman Congregational Church, they'll be hosting a hybrid Ash Wednesday service. That's happening tonight at 7 p.m. It will be happening in person and also be streamed on the church's social media pages. Live in East Providence this morning, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.